In this video, I'm going to show you how to blend images together to make a hybrid animal. In this case, we're going to combine a flamingo with a snake and make it look like this. So the tool that you're going to need to use the most to select things is the quick select tool. It looks like this. And when you use that tool, put it on plus to select something or minus to deselect something. And then you can change the brush there. Make it a hard brush, the size of 35. But if you want to change the brush, use the bracket keys on your keyboard. All right, so we're going to start off and use the quick select tool to select the flamingo's head. I have it on plus 35 hard brush. And I'm just going to start off by dragging it on the flamingo. And I know it, what's getting selected by the dotted lines. Try not to go outside of the flamingo's head, but if you do, just go on the minus button and fix it that way. All right, so I have most of it, and I'm going to zoom in a little bit and try to get the bottom of its beak. And I'm going to go out of the lines on purpose just to show you what you can do. So if I got some green area I don't want, I can put it on minus, but then it might select thing, mess it up even worse, go back to the plus. Just keep going back and forth between the plus and the minus and try to fix the area that's not working right. Maybe make your brush smaller for some of those detail areas. So I'm just getting a smaller brush, zooming in. I'm going to go to minus and try to get rid of that one little green spot there. All right, that looks pretty good. Good enough for this. Just going to check all the edges. I think that will work fine. All right, so once you have your flamingo head selected, just go to copy, control C, and then let's go to the snake picture and paste it, control V. And then we're going to do control T to transform it because we're going to change the size and rotate it. That's transform. So drag by the corner to size it while holding the shift key. And you're just going to need to keep moving it around to kind of try to make the flamingo's head line up as close to where the snake head is as possible. Because we want to cover the snake head up and we want the flamingo to look like it's um, covering up the head in just the right spot. So it takes a little bit of moving around. I'm going to rotate it up a little bit. Almost there. Yeah, it needs a little more of a rotation there. Okay, it's getting close. I don't want to be able to see any of the snake's head, just the flamingo's head. And then press enter or the check mark. Enter and return are the same thing. And when you do that on your keyboard, you need to get out of the transform mode. So now I'm going to get the eraser. I'm going to get on a soft brush. Make sure you're using a soft brush when you're trying to blend and just hit the edge of the um, image. Don't like erase in the middle of the flamingo's neck. And then you can use a small brush to go around the edge. Just remember a small brush is good for the details. The big soft brush will help you fade things gradually. All right, I'm going to get a big brush again so that I can kind of fade that neckline into the snake's head, snake's body. All right now I'm going to get the eyedropper tool to try to select that color pink that's on the flamingo. So I'm going to click on its head. Notice how over on the left my um, toolbox has the pink color in it now. So I'm going to get the brush tool and I want the hardness on 100. On this part you need a hard brush, not a soft brush, okay? So put hardness on 100, and let's name this layer Flamingo, and make a new layer. So click on the bottom right, click that plus. So we're going to make a new layer, and let's call this one pink, because you're going to paint the snake pink on this layer. So you have your hard brush set, you have a new layer called pink. Just start brushing a few strokes on top of the snake's body. And I know that looks fake now, but I'm going to show you how to make that look real. So change the layer mode from normal 
Notice how when I open that normal thing and I pull it down, I get all these options for blending my layers together. If you leave it on overlay, then it blends in with the snake's scales better. So you can see the scales, but it's still turning pink. So I'm going to turn the flamingo's head off for a while and just keep brushing that pink on the snake. Let me speed it up a little bit here. All right, now I don't need to do his whole head because the flamingo's head goes on top of it. So I'm gonna turn that on for a minute. And I see that that pink that I'm painting is really showing through on the flamingo's face. So I wanna to try to fix that. So I'm gonna go on the pink layer and get the eraser with a soft, big soft brush and just click on the edge of it so that it fades and doesn't have like a hard line there. So I'm going to go back to the flamingo and rotate it a little bit more with control T and then press enter when you're done. Don't forget to press enter or return on your keyboard or that check mark because if you leave that bounding box on there it'll get stuck. So I press enter. Now I'm going to get something called the smudge tool. It's a little finger, pointed finger. What I want to do is make that 100% hardness and make it a small brush. And I'm just trying to fix the edge of that head where I erased a little bit too much. The smudge tool just basically smudges. You can just click somewhere and drag and it pulls part of the image out and then it blends better. So now the neck and the head look like they fit together a little bit better. So I'm going to go back to doing the pink. I'm going to speed up the painting on the pink because it just took me a while. What I do is I go around the edges with a small brush so that I get all the details and I don't color out of the lines. And then I take a thicker brush to fill in the middle and that way it goes a lot faster. All right, so we're getting close to being done. That's what we have so far. I think the head needs to blend in a little bit better though. So I'm gonna go on the flamingo head layer. I'm gonna get the eraser. I'm going to zoom in and just try to erase some of that hot pink right there. I want the scales and the feathers to blend there and not look like it's just cut off. What I really need is a low opacity brush. So if you take the brush and you change the opacity down, I have it on 14 instead of 100, then it just very lightly erases. And now I can still see some of those scales coming through and it makes the feathers and scales blend a lot better. So this is how the final image looks and we'll be working on a few more of these after this one.